We are learning new details tonight about the woman hit and killed while rollerblading in Pompano Beach. She died following a car crash that was so violent it split a car in two, scattering debris everywhere. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live in Pompano Beach with more on what we're learning about that victim. Ted. Yeah, Elliot, uh, we now know the name of the woman who died. BSO tells us she is Aline Taya Acosta. She was killed uh, right back there on the other side of the road while she was rollerblading on that bike path. She was hit by a car. That car ended up crashing into the tree. <laughs> Cell phone video shows the moments after a violent car crash. It's very graphic. We're not showing all of it. The hit was so powerful, it split the car in two after it slammed into a tree, leaving one part up against a fence, the other in the middle of the road. There was also a woman on rollerblades, Aline Taya Acosta. She was killed on the scene after being hit by the car. It's a freak situation. I never, I couldn't imagine that happening. Investigators tell us the car may have been trying to pass someone just moments before the crash. A 25-year-old man was behind the wheel with a 37-year-old woman in the passenger seat. They were both ejected. The lady that appeared to be ejected from the passenger seat, I saw a wig laying uh, right there by the door, and then another uh, male laying in the street. It looked like he got ejected from the driver's side of the, of the car. Brad Mitchell was nearby when the crash happened. I was about to call 911. Then I saw a black uh, SUV uh, pursuing it. I thought that might have been an undercover officer. And literally 10 seconds later, I saw the car split in two. The power of that crash that left the car scattered around the scene and Taya Acosta dead while she was simply rollerblading on an exercise trail has many shaken up. It's horrible, horrific. I, I mean, I, I come here every day and walk and I see people speeding, trying to pass, but uh, I never thought anything like this would happen. Now, at last update, the driver and passenger of their car who were ejected were listed in critical condition at Broward Health North. Live in Pompano Beach, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.